lions are gradually disappearing, not just in Nigeria, but in West Africa. And um, there is a reason for Nigeria to be worried. You know, lion population is, um, you know, is in danger of extinction. The lion, the king of the jungle whose earliest fossils are estimated to be up to two million years old. These social cats have roamed the earth for a very long time, but unfortunately their population in Africa has dramatically declined. According to international organization World Wildlife Fund, this is by over 40% in the last three generations, and experts fear that if action isn't taken, the African lion could become extinct by 2050. Research shows that at least 75% of the African lion's original habitat is gone. And there are fewer than 35,000 left in the wild. The numbers for West Africa specifically are dire. Panthera, an organization devoted to the preservation of wild cats, estimates that there are between just 120 to 374 lions left in the region. Yeah, to put it into context, I mean, we have to look at the historical situation as well. I mean, so before all of West Africa uh, was occupied by lions, with the exception of uh, two deserts in the far north of the, of the region and uh, dense rainforest areas. And if you compare the former range of the line in West Africa to the current distribution, um, what we documented is a staggering 99% range loss. So they really only occur in 1% of the historical range. And in no other region, in no other part of Africa has that decline be quite so dramatic. While the African lion is categorized as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, the West Africa subpopulation is in an extremely critical state. According to a 2015 assessment by the IUCN, lions have disappeared in a number of West African countries. Here in Nigeria, it's hard to predict how many lions are left, as there are no recent studies. The latest study conducted in 2009 suggests that there are fewer than 50, the majority of which are found in the savannas of Yankari Game Reserve in Bauchi State and Kanji Lake National Park in Niger and Kwara states. Exact figures are actually currently missing, but I mean, it seems that the situation is, is potentially even worse. There seems to be um, uh, more of an insecurity threat, especially in the Kainji Lake uh, system, um, where news reports spoke about uh, park rangers having to liberate uh, uh, the area because there were uh, um, bandits occupying um, the park or at least parts of it. So I think the situation couldn't be more dramatic uh, in Nigeria at the moment. I think really a strengthening of the security situation in and around Kainji Lake next National Park seems to be an absolute priority. And then to conduct uh, surveys, to do follow-up surveys from the surveys we conducted in 2009 to really find out exactly how many lions are left, how they're faring. The West African lion is facing many threats. Human settlements continue to create smaller pockets of wilderness, so survival has become a major challenge. Unsustainable levels of hunting to supply the bushmeat trade is another issue. The lion depends on prey like antelopes and buffaloes, but the bushmeat trade takes them away, reducing the food available to them. These wild cats also get caught in traps and snares set for other animals sold as bushmeat. Dr. Talatu Tende spent time in Yankari Game Reserve between 2006 and 2013 while working on her PhD. She says that during her time in the park, lions were hard to come across. When I was in Yankari studying the lions, I carried out survey. I was employed as a research officer for Yankari Game Reserve and 
mainly to carry out ecological surveys. And then during that time, I got very curious because I was working with some rangers. And each time I asked them the number of lions they had, they said they have up to 100, 150. And for the period of time I was carrying out my survey within Yankari, I didn't come across um, uh, lions very often. So most times I see footprints and I see their poop, but I don't see them physically. I found out that they were just about um, maybe 10 individual lions within Yankari also at that time. In 2021, I visited the Jaconde Arts Market in Lekki, Lagos, to report on the illegal sales of elephant ivory. As I strolled from stall to stall, I couldn't help but notice the widespread sale of products made from lion body parts too, especially teeth and claws which are sold as jewellery and handicraft products. That's what is that lion finger. You ask me, I can't go on for Local demand for lion body parts in West Africa has always existed, and this has been linked to traditional uses. But with 350 million people in West Africa today, and possibly just 350 lions, this is a ratio of about 1 million people to one lion. So if this is to continue, these big cats will certainly be consumed to extinction. The illegal wildlife trade is another critical issue. In 2016, a report published by the United Nations Environment Programme and Interpol estimated the trade to be worth up to $20 billion a year. Lions are protected under the first schedule of Nigeria's Endangered Species Act, so the international trade of this wild cat is absolutely prohibited. Yet the international trade continues to contribute to the declining population of this roaring species. In a seizure in January 2021, officers of the Nigeria Customs Service confiscated illegal wildlife products containing 108 kilograms of lion skulls, teeth and claws, signaling that lion body parts are still being exported. This one is an interesting case because here it seems that Nigeria was um, just a transit country. So um, at these volumes, uh, the lion bone would have most likely come from Southern Africa. Usually for these bone shipments, they're destined for the Asian market because uh, of, the, of the rarity of the tiger, lion bone is basically sold in Asia as tiger bone. Um, and, and yeah, the, the, the origin there of the demand is the use of tiger bone in the traditional Chinese medicine. And uh, there's a request, there's a demand for huge volumes of this bone. And as tigers are becoming rare, this is now substituted by lion bone. To save this majestic species, it's clear that several steps need to be taken as threats continue to hit from every corner. In the Ankari Game Reserve, the Wildlife Conservation Society, an international environmental nonprofit, is working alongside the Bauchi state government to protect the wildlife park. In the course of our trip you know, to Yankai, you know, I hoped you know, to see um, lions in Yankai. Unfortunately, we could not find one. There's been improvement in enforcement. I can tell you that rangers are being employed and also being trained to kind of um, monitor their activities. There are people living in these communities. And for you to protect lions, for you to protect wildlife, you need to get the community people involved. Education is key. Many hunters are against conservation efforts as they say it affects their livelihoods. And as their ancestors have hunted wild animals like lions for generations, they see no reason why they should be stopped. This is a continent-wide issue. We found that when discussing with the hunters, um, first when we spoke about the disappearance of the lion, even though there was no evidence of lions still being around in the area where they used to occur, 
uh, local hunters did not really quite believe us that the lion was absent because they said the lion was always here. You know, we used to live with the lions, I mean, as long as we can remember uh, and our fathers and forefathers told us through stories. And so the lion can't disappear, it belongs to that system. Uh, when we did more in-depth socioeconomic surveys, we also found that the lion was one of the most important totem animal for these hunter communities. And so when we then conducted surveys, field surveys with them, with representatives from the different communities in the area, and they really saw with their own eyes that the line had disappeared. This really triggered a mind change. And now they actually really closely work with us to bring lions back into that system. Lions are often described as the apex predators of their environment, which makes them crucial to a healthy balance of animal populations in our ecosystem. In turn, this has a positive effect on the condition of forests and grasslands. And a good example um, there is uh, the Ghana situation. So Ghana is a country that used to have lions in, in several protected areas, but that lost them. Uh, we don't know exactly when, but it seems around uh, yeah, the year 2000 to 2005, it was evident that when the lions disappeared, there was a four to five fold increase in baboon numbers. Um, and uh, what that caused then in return was that the baboons were so numerous inside the protected area that they also strayed outside the park, and then started to threaten the livelihoods of the, of the local farmer community. And on a positive note, some exciting news from Senegal. A recent video has been released of a West African lioness and her three cubs in Senegal's Neokolokoba National Park. Florence was the first lion to be fitted with a tracker in Senegal. When transmission with her GPS collar stopped, many feared that she had been killed by poachers. But her recent discovery sparks hope for the recovery of the population of this species. More so, since 2011, Senegal's lion population has at least doubled, from 10 to 15 lions to 30 thanks to conservation efforts by the country's Department of National Parks and Panthera. While West African lions are critically endangered, stories like this suggest that conservation efforts are paying off and offer a slight ray of hope for the survival of this great species in West Africa. Leila Johnson Salami, Arise News.